Bonjour and hello. We are on episode number three this week and we're going to take you through my day to day. I've got uh, tax preparation stuff to do, quarterly sales tax, annual sales tax, and I also have to send out the 1096 forms and 1099 forms to my subcontractors. But this morning we are starting with a walk with my little dog Lucy right there. See? She's pretty cute. You can find her on my Instagram account as well. I try to post a few pictures of her there. I am officially going on record that my sales tax for both businesses are officially paid early. I did not procrastinate. It is not the last day uh, that it is due. It is four days early and I got it done early, which is not like me. Yay me! <laughs> I could have done that, says the average Joe. Well, yes, perhaps you could. And should, if for no other reason than to see what it's like, to see how difficult it is to create art. But these artists already have. And their work is wonderful. Last night was wonderful. It was incredible to be chosen to be among so many fabulous pieces at the art show. I mean, just looking through them, I was like, oh my gosh, there are so many pieces. My favorite, my favorite piece was the one that was actually placed right below mine. It was printed on metal and it was a train, I guess a steam train, uh, going down the tracks and it just, the colors were gorgeous. And I just was very honored to be juried into this art show and it was just wonderful. Moonrise over Goose Tarn was taken in or near Breckenridge, Colorado. Um, I had gone there to my friend Holly's place. She has a cabin there in Breckenridge and I was spending a few days there. I was shooting her property as well as shooting another cabin property and then two other condos in Vail while I was in town. And so the other people that were with us, besides my friend Holly, was my sister Emily, and then our buddy Steve. And Steve was doing his, um, I guess he called it his million dollar Tesla drive, where he was driving his Tesla around the United States, and I think he went into Canada as well. And so we had gone out to dinner, and I knew it was the evening of the moonrise, and I knew it would be perfect conditions. And I was really, really, hoping to get some type of shot from the moonrise in Colorado. And so we were on our way back to Holly's cabin from dinner in downtown Breckenridge. And we're driving along in, Te in Steve's Tesla and I knew where the moon would rise. I knew what time it was. So I am like, you know, staring out the window, waiting for a glimpse of the moon just in case. And as we're passing Goose Tarn, which is kind of like a pond, we'd call it a pond here in Missouri, so we're passing Goose Tarn in a Tesla, and, suddenly, and I saw the moon, and I screamed. I'm like, whoa, stop, Steve. And Steve pulled over into the Tarn parking lot very quickly, and I grabbed my camera and got out and took several shots to, to get this photo. And the photo is an actually, it's a composite of, I believe it was 15 images. So I took the photos um, vertical, and it's 15 images stacked next to each other uh, to make the panoramic. And it was, it's just one of those bucket list shots where you've got the full moon rising, you've got the mountains, and then you have the reflection in the tarn. So that's the story of Moonrise Over Goose Tarn. 
I am going to now go back to uh, cleaning up my basement from all the flooding water. And you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on social media, whichever is your favorite, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the links are below. You can find me at Tyann Marsing or at Marsing Designs. Uh, thanks so much. You guys have a great week.